Maine Med has an unbelievable wealth of experiences of high acuity and very broad volume of cases. The level one trauma center for all of Maine, it has a huge catchment area. You see a very wide extent of disease. You see really anything and everything here. Residents that graduate from this program really have a high level of comfort with all levels of vascular care. I honestly believe our program is one of the best in terms of the level of training that we provide. My first week on my vascular rotation, I was first assist on an EVAR, which interns don't usually do, which was really crazy to be part of such a big, complicated procedure. Our vascular residents in their earlier years of training rotate with and on the general surgery services. So um, the two are really truly integrated. So having that integrated care where you're learning both from the general surgeon as well as the vascular surgeon really puts you in an optimal position to make sure once you are in a vascular surgery track, you are very well trained to take care of patients clinically. Within the last quarter of the PGY5 year, the chief resident essentially runs their own practice. We really have the chief dictate the care and be the owner and the primary surgeon of the patient, which is a little bit different than the, the typical resident experience. Having the seniors watch over you is absolutely fantastic. I think it's very critical to have that support group as you're a junior resident. You want to make sure you have people that you feel comfortable and they're ready to help you. If you ask a room full of vascular surgeons how to solve a problem, you'll get as many different answers as there are vascular surgeons. It's really nice to have faculty that will approach problems in different ways, either using kind of cutting edge, state-of-the-art endovascular technologies. Um, they're mentors while you're in the hospital, but um, also people you can hang out with, with outside the hospital. We're a relatively small program compared to some other specialties. We get the opportunity to get to know each other very well. And we're more than just co-workers, we really do become colleagues and, and really almost like a tight-knit family. One unique thing about our program is that we're 50% women, which is really nice and pretty rare in vascular surgery. So having half of the faculty members being female and all just so badass, awesome surgeons was really important to me to have that mentorship. We have quite a robust uh, research program here. And if you kind of come in with an idea of, well, maybe I want to do research, but I'm not quite sure what, there's just a wide variety of things already going on, and so you can find something you like. We want to be able to instill the skills in them to, to have every opportunity open to them wherever they want to go. Portland is great because it's, it's a big city without being a big city. There's so much opportunity so close by to be able to do things that uh, engage your mind, engage your body, that you can kind of leave work behind. Nice hiking trails, a lot of nice nature. It's, I can run by the ocean every single weekend. It's got a great set of restaurants to offer, excellent theater scene. And there's just so much to do year round here that when you're not in the hospital, you're not bored. <laughs> the quality of life that you get outside of the hospital is much higher than in some places where you might be spending a lot of time commuting and paying a lot of rent for not a lot of space and that's a, you know, the five years can be a long time to live a life like that. We're looking for residents who like to be challenged, people who are excited about new things and innovation and change. I just remember looking back and, and sitting there and making my list, I threw it out the window and kind of thought, where would I feel at home? I would say Maine Med is, is probably the biggest hidden gem. I think that's a thing that's really great about our program. You know, it kind of feels like home. Vascular surgeons can be people who are kind of, you know, on the bus or they're driving the bus. We're looking for people who want to be drivers.